all over Plymouth, Massachusetts, hungry diners are heading into the office. Situated just steps from the water, the office bistro is a cozy spot housed in an historic building that was once a real office. Back in the 1800s, the building that we're in was a giant wool mill. It was called Mabbitt's Wool Mills. The restaurant is actually the original office from Mabbitt's Wool Mills, so it made sense to call it the office. So rather than cubicles, computers, and water coolers, this office is decked out with plush seating, a semi-open kitchen, and a fun festive bar in the center of it all. Owner Loring Tripp left his career in local politics to open the eatery, and his approval rating immediately shot through the roof. People will come in here because they knew me from politics, and they say, when are you going to get back into public service? I said, I am in public service still. I said, except people leave this room happy. <laughs> And whether you're dining, drinking, or just hanging out, you certainly won't want to escape this office. Finally, it's an office that you can relax in. We've got probably one of the best views in America right here. We really cater to people that enjoy a relaxed atmosphere, great food and wine, and the food is international. You'll find something from all four corners of the globe. There are Italian classics like caprese salad made with soft burrata cheese and upscale pizzettas topped with fig, gorgonzola, and prosciutto. The meatballs are made from a family recipe passed down from Loring's Italian great-grandparents to his Portuguese grandmother. So it's kind of an eclectic blend of two proud nationalities that are really good cookers. So you get the best, I think, of the Italian and Portuguese together in our meatballs. I think they're a real meatball. They're not bread. It's the real meat in there, and the flavors, I think, are better than any meatball you could try. For a taste of the American South, try the Kentucky Bourbon Ale Braised Short Ribs. When you put your fork into it, it's tender on the inside, a little crispy on the outside, and it's, you know, probably one of the most tasty short ribs that you've ever had. And check this out, you'll never look at steak and cheese the same way once you've tried the office sirloin topped with smoky, moody blue cheese. It's just really a nice, savory, creamy blue cheese sauce that goes over that steak that will make it, you know, bar none, the best steak that you probably taste around. <laughs> Since this restaurant sits right on the harbor, there's plenty of fresh seafood on the menu, like lobster salad served on brioche and an adult shrimp cocktail with absolute pepar cocktail sauce. And fresh sea scallops come wrapped in bacon, served with pesto whipped potatoes and finished with a rich butter sauce. These are not your mother's scallops wrapped in bacon. These are, you know, a 21st century version of them. Even the sides deserve a promotion at the office, especially the roasted fingerling potatoes served with lemon aioli dipping sauce. It's a tricolor fingerling potato, which is kind of neat. A lot of people have never seen a purple potato. People love them. After you're done snacking on all the savory stuff, there's nothing like sharing one of the office's chocolate fondues loaded up with a little bit of everything. It's surrounded by a variety of different things from cupcakes to bananas to strawberries, pineapple, pretzels. We even add in animal crackers. So, you know, just kind of fun things that harken back to a lot of people's childhood. With cocktails, cuisine, and a friendly inviting atmosphere, nobody minds working a a little overtime at the office. It also gives you kind of a good excuse or an escape when you need it to say, hey, I'm still at the office, staying late at the office. So it does give you that kind of uh, alibi, I guess you'd use the word. <laughs>